Hey, how's it going everybody? You're watching Juice Audio. and Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this dope calculated acoustic diffuser for your home studio or office. They look amazing, sound amazing, and they're super easy to make. So let's get started. Alright guys, for the way I did it, I used a diffuser calculator app. And this app was only available on Android, unfortunately. which uh, So that's why I broke out this busted Android phone. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and click on this app. This app does cost $20 also, which I believe is a little bit overpriced, but... I think it's worth it, honestly, for what I'm doing because I like building this kind of stuff. So I want the Skyline Diffuser. My target range was 1500. Calculate. Boom. And then it shows you usable range, how far it should be from you to disperse all the frequencies, and then uh, dimensions of the back plate, width of the wood sticks, and then it shows you how long your wood stick has to be. Wood sticks, basically. So uh, the only problem with this one is that uh, I couldn't find 25 millimeter wide uh, sticks for it. So I had to change it to 35. And that's gonna give you a little bit of a different uh, range, but that's all good because it's under 5,000 Hertz, which above 5,000 apparently is um, no audible difference in the sound. And here's my exact plan. Here's my exact plan if you guys wanna follow the same thing I did. It's gonna be right here, guild, show. This is the exact one I did. All right, so now you got all your measurements. It does give it to you in centimeters. So I changed mine from centimeters to inches and from inches, I changed it to uh, fractions on a tape measure. So the only problem with this app is that the number zero means that there should be no wood block there. But I didn't want the back of the plate of my diffuser panel to be uh, seen. So I put a quarter of an inch wood block there instead. And uh, since it, I put a block there, I had to raise everything by a quarter of an inch to keep all the dimensions the same and get the same frequency range. So if you wanna do that, always remember to raise everything else up for how uh, big that number zero is. So here's the back plate for a diffuser panel. This one, I will cut in half and this will give me two of them. And you want it to be sturdy because these things get really heavy after you put it all together with all the glue and wood on them. So the saw I'm using is just a DeWalt table saw. A miter saw would be a lot easier, but I don't have one. So I just had this sled laying around that I made earlier. And I'm gonna use this to make all the diffuser blocks. So after cutting the wood for uh, two panels, I just want to check and make uh, make sure everything I did cut about two extra blocks on each one, just in case any of the wood has any defects or I, or I drop it or sand it wrong or something. So the way I sanded mine is I did the tallest blocks, my number fours with all three of these sandpapers, but otherwise the other ones I did with the 120 and the 180 because those ones are going to be hidden uh, between the sticks and you don't really want to have to waste your time on those ones. So the way I assembled my panels is I put them together before I glued them just to make sure everything was correct. And I I put them on this first panel without gluing it. And then I was going to transfer, transfer it to my next panel and glue it so I can just make sure everything is the same. And I won't have to use the app as much. So the way I glued these panels together is I put a bead of glue down and then I spread it out 
And then on each stick, I also put another bead of glue. Alright, so after gluing all these together, I'm just going to give the, the perimeter of each one a light sanding just to make sure it's not, it looks nice. Alright, so now I got the compressor going and I'm just going to blow all the dust off it. You want all the dust completely gone, otherwise it's going to ruin your finish. Then I got some iso alcohol, rubbed most of the sticks down as much as I could to make sure it's nice and clean and ready for a clear coat. All right, so here's a clear coat I got, polycrylic, just a spray on, I think it's water-based and it's just really easy to use. I use the satin one. So you wanna give it a light coatings from every single angle and you, uh, you wanna give it a lot of coatings instead of spraying it heavy and just giving one coating, to give you a better finish. And you wanna wait about like 20 minutes between each coat Here's the finished product after spraying on the clear coat. All right, so now we're in the studio and I'm uh, gonna place these directly behind me so I can give you that nice open sound. It would make the room sound bigger than it actually is. All right, the way I mounted these, I used these French cleats I bought on Amazon, super cheap. And I just mounted them at the very top. You wanna make sure you pre-drill so you don't crack the wood on the other side. So I use a laser, these things are super helpful. So now I'm finally hanging them on from directly in the middle of the room, right behind me. And we're all done. Alright guys, I just finished putting up the panels here in the studio and I'm super happy with the results and I just love the way they look. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, just like, comment if you have any questions and subscribe please. Appreciate it and uh, you guys have a good day.